Hi, these comments are for HF and I am Michael from BetterTwiffleScores.com and I'm listening to a speaking practice test that you sent me yesterday. So the question here, if you had a small amount of money, would you spend it right away or save it? Use details and examples to support your explanation. Okay, and let me go over to the independent speaking rubrics right here. Okay, here we go. Spend it right away than saving it because if I had a small amount of money, I would spend it right away than saving it because... I would say rather than save it, not saving it. So I think if you go back to what you did in the beginning, let's see. If I had a small amount of money, I would spend it right away than saving it. Because I would spend it right away rather than... I would say I would spend it right away rather than save it. Because even if it's risky, I think that it's worth to make an action. First of all... Yeah, I don't know. You're not very precise there. Even if it's risky... I would spend the money right now or something. Even if I save it for later, I don't know for sure that I'm going to be successful in the future, so my future isn't promised. Second of all, I would rather enjoy the moment that I have right now than looking forward for my future because I never know when I will die and I don't want to regret it. Spending the money right away may be high risk, but to enjoy the moment that I have right now, I would use it. Yeah. Okay, so I'm, I'm thinking about where you would score here. I'm looking at the rubrics here. I think a little bit with basic ideas that like you're still with that elaboration idea. You can still be more specific with the ideas that you're trying to explain. So sometimes a connection of your ideas is a little bit unclear. I think you had some minor language use issues. I think if you said, well, I would rather wait than go. I would rather spend the money than save the money. So sometimes, and you're using gerunds after rather than, but if you have the base form of the verb before that, I think it's better to use the base form of the verb after rather, <coughs> rather than. Pronunciation, you have a, a good tone, no major problems with that. Um, let me think about how I'm going to score you here. I'm going to put you between 2.5 and 3. I'm going to put you around 21 to 22 points out of 30 on this practice test. So the, the one thing I think you can do better on, uh, if you go to the grammar part of my course, I want you to check out two lessons. One lesson is called Parallelism. Check out that lesson. Another lesson is called Gerunds and Infinitives. You can study that one also. And then to help you with, uh, let me think about it. Okay, maybe delivery. I'm thinking you can probably study a little bit of intonation, pronunciation lessons, 36 through 40. That might be a good area for you to look at right now. And to help you with your topic development, I think I've recommended this before, but go to Better TOEFL Scores. Go over that specific lesson it's called, TOEFL or lacks TOEFL speaking elaboration. That's the title of the lesson. You can find that over at bettertoefelscores.com. And thank you for doing this practice test.